The University of Delaware was facing criticism for a program which aimed to eliminate politically incorrect attitudes on campus. Now, critics said the program infringed on First Amendment rights, and the Foundation for Individual Rights in Education said the university was using the program to indoctrinate its students by trying to paint all Caucasians as racist. Now, earlier this evening, the university released a statement announcing that the school has ended the program. Joining us now, Delaware University student Bill Rivers and the president President of Fire, Greg uh, Lukianoff. Uh, thank you guys for being with us. Bill, let me start with you here. First of all, why don't you explain what sure. everybody had to go through here and all the freshmen in the dorms and what they had to face? Okay. Well, uh, the way it works is that um, there seems to be this, this understanding uh, of freshmen coming into the program that the way you think about the world is inherently wrong, is inherently racist, and we're here to change your mind. And the way we think is right, and the way you think is wrong. So uh, they have these programs that you go through, and um, I'm going to describe one of them for you, if that's okay. Uh, you go and you sit down in a circle, and they've got actually a bowl of marshmallows uh, there in front of you, and they read off a series of statements. And um, if you've ever been afraid to walk through a parking lot at night, uh, you take a marshmallow. If you've ever been made to feel embarrassed because of your parents' job, if you are uh, ever been afraid to show uh, public displays of affection between your boyfriend and girlfriend, and these questions are structured in such a way that at the end of the evening, if you're a white male, you don't have any marshmallows, uh, but you know female students, other minority students do. And then you're asked to, to engage in dialogue with them, and it's supposed to show how the system oh. stifles, stifles them. So what, the, what, uh, what you're really describing here, well, I, go ahead, I don't want to interrupt you here, but what you, it seems uh, to me you're describing a system here in which they are basically, the, they're saying somewhat flagrantly here is that white males are racist. Is that what, the way you took that? Well, I mean, I mean, at the end of the evening there, when, when you're made to interact with them and, uh, uh, you know, they, they can't talk to you and you can still talk, it leaves the impression that you know, an 18-19 year old white male student who is not a policymaker uh, is somehow responsible for this, and that generates you know tension between between uh, you know a student like that and these other people. Hey, uh, Bill and, and uh, Greg, it's Alan Combs. Yes, Lucky both the show. Greg, let me uh, bring you in here and, sure. and point out that one of these school officials, apparently responding to you, yeah. wrote you a letter. Michael Gilbert wrote you a letter and pointed out or asked you aren't you underestimating <laughs> students if you think they can be indoctrinated they're not empty vessels to be filled up by right. whatever authority figure happens to be walking around at a given time that was one of the most insulting reversals i think i've ever seen in a letter because when you actually look at the mandatory program and i urge you to go and look at this program yourself at thefire.org because there are hundreds of pages about it it's all about how um, how ignorant and how we need to and, and the, 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 these uh, programs referred to treatments these are mandatory one-on-one, -on -one, in some cases these group meetings like Bill has discussed, or mandatory one-on-one -on -one treatments with the RAs where you're supposed to answer invasive questions like, when did you discover your sexual identity? Um, the, the, and the student who actually answered that, none of your damn business, was written up as being the worst and most hostile person. Um, that, that, this, is not, that this is not the function of education to teach people what they're but correct. But I understand the school say. has stopped this program, yes. uh, Bill. They're not doing it anymore. And... Uh, so do you still have an issue with them, given that they have said, you know what, maybe not such a good idea, we're discontinuing it? Well, well, you know, Alan, you have to ask why do they stop the program, and I really think that's been largely due to the efforts of, of, of FIRE um, coming out and saying, hey, wait a minute, you guys shouldn't be doing this, uh, you can't be doing this. And I think that, I mean, had FIRE not said anything, uh, had other students and professors not uh, talk to people and, and generate a dialogue about it that this wouldn't have happened. But no one's going to change your point of view, Bill. You seem like you're pretty well granted. You have a very strong point of view about things. No one's going to fill your head, as Rush would say, full of uh, mush that you don't already have a strong opinion on something, right? Uh, well, well, you see, Alan, that's, that's something that you have to look at. Um, I personally don't have a problem speaking in front of people or defending my views in front of people. But, I mean, I recognize that not everyone's like me. If you have a student who's uh, mild, maybe afraid, uh, doesn't have an established point of view already or, or uh, a frame right. of mind, and you get them in there and you have peer pressure away. A lot of these right, well, programs are the designed. The program's over. So we thank you very much, Bill. We thank you, Greg, for coming on. And